Welcome to a new weekly segment on Gives A Minute. It's called What I'm Watching Wednesday, and it's where I show you what I'm watching on YouTube so that you can watch what I watch when you're not watching me. Welcome to episode three of What I'm Watching Wednesday. This week, it's a interesting one. I am watching The Vegan Cheetah. Now, if you watch my daily vlogs, you'll have seen me talk a little bit about this guy, The Vegan Cheetah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, your source for daily drama. It's Vegan Cheetah. First of all, I'm not a vegan, so why do I watch a vegan YouTuber? I enjoy the drama on this channel. These what I eat in a day videos coming from these eating disordered vegans. They're so obsessed with what they eat that they have to constantly make these what I eat in a day videos. But a lot of these vegans that are doing the what I eat in a day videos are actively living in their eating disorder, masking their eating disorder through veganism and through the formats of what I eat in a day videos and taking pictures of their food on Instagram and it's a mess. He was living on the east side of America. He's just recently shifted to LA. He is a recovering heroin addict, which might be why I'm attracted to his channel. He's an underdog, but he's given it a crack. His channel has morphed a little bit. It started off basically him talking to a locked off camera about vegan drama, how these fanatical vegans on YouTube like to push, push, push to create this vibe of, he calls it the vegan social media elite. And these are a certain amount of people that somewhat control the output of this message of veganism. Raw Alignment, about a week ago, uploaded this video with a Dr. Sam. Now, there's a lot of things that are wrong with this video. I'm actually questioning Dr. Sam's credentials. I can't find any information about him on the internet. She's basically helping Dr. Sam promote a program, promote a book. The only link that she provides is the actual link to buy the program. It's basically a 15, 20 minute long infomercial for Dr. Sam. So, Dr. Sam, do you want to share a little bit about yourself? Born with twisted hips, though I came out crooked and was never really going to crawl right, had to wear a brace on my feet, so I was rehabbing from the time I was very little, so I know this was a predestined path for me. The guy is talking about a predestined path. When you hear people start to use this kind of language, a predestined path, and they got that crystally look in their eyes, you know like the, uh, the Jehovah's Witness that knock on your door? Traditionally, vegans are not open-minded, they're not relaxed people, they are very, very one-dimensional, very quick to tell you that they're vegan and tell you why you're you're bad for not being vegan whereas this guy he is a vegan he doesn't tell you why you're bad because you're not a vegan and he doesn't go around preaching all the best things about being vegan what he does instead is he made a channel which talks about the drama around veganism i first discovered him i was watching um, an adelaide uh, vegan by the name of duran Ryder. him and his ex-partner did some pretty stupid things and there was this big youtube fight between him and his his partners this freely the banana girl they both had this massive youtube drama and i was watching it and then i saw this other guy saying oh here's what's really happening the vegan Vegan cheetah and then I started watching more of him most of the vegan elite social media crew hate this guy they call him a fake vegan he ordered a, a toasty or something in some restaurant and it looked like it came with some melted cheese on the top like maybe some mozzarella fell on it and vegan cheetahs angle with this was this piece of food if I don't eat this and I send it back, chef's gonna put it in the bin and that's a waste of food. And most vegans are always complaining about how much food waste happens in the world. To me, that's a smart person. Instead of getting caught up in all of the theatrics and this is a vegan dish and you cook some cheese on it, you should be ashamed and why the cheese is bad and all that stuff. He doesn't do that. I kinda like that, I like that about the guy. He refers to that as high functioning veganism. He will eat that cheese because someone's already made it, the food's already been prepared and if you don't, it goes to waste. Makes sense to me, not a vegan, don't care either way, but that's why I like his channel. The only thing I will say, Vegan Cheater, is you need to change your end slate. I'll see you on the next video. That little bit of text with the infuriating song underneath it, man, that is terrible. Change that, change the font, change the song. Just don't do it, just do something else. That's just me, your opinion might differ, and that's, <laughs> that's just my call. I love what you do though, man, keep it up. So that is what I'm watching Wednesday for another week. Now, if you've got a suggestion for what I should be watching when I'm not watching what I'm watching Wednesday, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Watch a regular vlog here and a random vlog there. And if you're a photographer, please check out my Lightroom 6 presets. What's that? Oh, that's on. We're out of time.